What's up, doers of good, and welcome back to the Sylph Corporation, where we are, um, we've just gotten the, what's it called? A key card. That's right. So, uh, we now have access to all the areas. Um, and as a result, that means that we can essentially just go top to bottom, I'm assuming. Look at that! The bingo, bingo, the key card opened the door. Hello, lady. No stop help. Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I'm sorry. I'll give you one of our products. Um, self destroy. <laughs> she just blows up. Oh man. Okay. Yes. 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 Um, this one. Let's see. I can access anything. Self employee. Okay. <clears throat> I get the feeling this man is lying. How dare he? Scientist Connor. That's just not on. Um. But yeah, so we're on our way up the Sylph Co. We've defeated Archie. Um, was that his name? The, the like, second in command? I don't know if he's actually second in command. We just know that he was in Giovanni's room when we were about to fight Giovanni. So, we'll have to see. Damn it, I love Zapdos, but I have to not overly invest in Zapdos for Giovanni. Because Giovanni has a bunch of, like, ground types. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to make ends meet. Okay, so he's just he just cares about his family. So he's working two jobs I can I can respect that. What floor are we on now? The sixth floor. Have I, have I been here before? No, I have not Okay, lovely. Hello, sir. Team Rocket came and took over the building. Yes, I'm aware of that. Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon I'm assuming I haven't been on this level yet. Uh, because there was a Pokeball there, in which case, hello? You dare betray team- how would- how is this a betrayal? You don't even know who I am! What's up, grunt? Alright, let's go. Send out Eradicate, and I'm gonna send out a legendary electric type that, uh, myths and legends have been written of. What are you gonna do? I'll tell you what you're gonna do, you're gonna get wrecked. Damn it! Frickin' quick attack and sucker punch, stupid ass moves. <laughs> Gonna whittle me down, cause I wonder how many trainers there are in this building. Like, at the end of it. Cause, I mean, I... This is one of those things where, which I always, I hope it's not boring for you guys. I really hope so. Cause this is what I used to do when I, when I play the games back in the day. It's like, um, you just have to challenge everyone, you know? Like, yeah, there's like, if, I guess if I was like speed running, the way that I know that like some speedrunners play these games and stuff, that's not how you'd play, but I'm not speed running, and I want my Pokemon to get as powerful as possible, so I'm gonna take, you'll never be on our side, okay? Um, but yeah, so, I don't know, it's just, I, I just want all the XP, essentially, and that means killing every single Pokemon in the building that belongs to every single dude. <laughs> Which is like, you know, I think a fairly, uh, fairly uh, admirable quality to have in a person. Alright, come here Mr. Scientist. That rotten president serves him right for transferring a star employee like me off to the boondocks. Okay. So there's disgruntled employees that aren't happy with the way that Sylph was running as well. So it's not as cut and dry as they might have you believe. Alright, um... Magnemite. I'm guessing electric is... Uh, but it's still more powerful than Drill Peck since he's also steel. Um, okay, no worries. Not very effective, and yet he's dead in one hit. <laughs> uh, Alright, what's next? Would you, another Magnemite? Alright, I got I got something for you. I got something for you, man. D damn it! No! That's this is the one that I meant. I got something for you, Magnemite. Alright. Ugh. Oh, when the hell is Charizard gonna learn flamethrower? I mean Ember's fine. For now. But in the long run, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna cut the mustard. You know what I'm saying. Alright, well, for now it's cutting the mustard. Not that mustard needs to be cut. It's... Wait, is that... Is that a saying? I've been having this recently where I keep thinking random thoughts. Um, 
like I get things in my head and I'm like it sounds almost like a saying but I swear it's not the saying I know cut the cheese means farting cut the mustard what the hell wait okay we're gonna look this up um cut the mustard <laughs> it sounds weirder and weirder the more I say it no, it, okay, it is the same. It means to come up to expectations or to reach the required standard. Who the hell cuts mustard? Uh, anyway, it's it's a liquid, sort of. Wait, is mustard a liquid? I feel like it's a liquid. Or a very non-dense solid. <laughs> Man next to me. Dear, help me play. Okay. Um, you. One of the four rocket sisters. Alright, this makes two out of four. We gotta beat them all. Um, essentially, I'm just XP farming. Because I don't know how strong Sabrina is. I don't know how strong Giovanni is. So, I just want to get as many people as possible under my, under my heel. So that I can demolish them all. Come here. And one of the four rocket sisters. But you guys sure seem to be weaker than the rest of the Team Rocket grunts. So... I don't know if you're meant to be special in any way, because you're not. You're not special. What did Rick say in Rick and Morty? It's like, to me, you're not special. You were special to rats. That's what I'll say to you. You were special to grunts, but not to the people that actually matter in this world. Ooh, look at you getting wrecked. All right, that's another rocket sister down. Uh, time to go and find your mother and tell her how disappointed she should be in all of you. Um, that's what your last sister said. Didn't work out too well. Wait, where's this going? Wait, is this the one- this is the one I arrived on, isn't it? Damn it! <laughs> Alright, well there's one in here. Let's see where this one goes. We were on the sixth floor. This is back on the second floor. And where are we now? This is the third floor. Okay, fine. Um, have I been here? No. What am I to do? Um, you're meant to- not be a pussy. That's the solution to life. Doesn't matter where you work. All right, in we go. Um, they're looking. <gasps> are those the those are those the master ball schematics? What's going on? First, that kid who was annoyingly strong. And now you. Why are kids allowed in here? <laughs> Wait, annoyingly strong. They can't be talking about blue, can they? Um, man, are these the master ball schematics? You. Challenge me. Tell me things. Support Team Rocket more than I support self. Okay. Okay, so all of the scientists are like disgruntled self employees that are happy with Team Rocket taking over, I'm guessing? From the looks of it? Um... Alright, a Grimer. Who, if I remember correctly, has high defense. So probably not a good idea to use Drill Pack. We shall use Thunderbolt. Look at this. Just... BAM! All right, too easy. Send out something that I can use drill pack on, please. My thunderbolt is gonna run out of pee pee. I need more pee pee. Uh, okay, magmar. I can I can swap. Just Zapdos is a good first pick. That's all because between drill pack and thunderbolt, I've got a, a, a special attack move and an attack move, and just and he's just a spiky boy, he's very reliable and deals shit tons of damage. He's like five levels ahead of the next person. Actually, four levels, I think. How high is Pikachu and Charizard? I think they're both level 47. Alright, here we go. Look at that. All these one-hit KOs. Just a one-hit KO fest. I don't think there's been a single enemy that we've faced on today's episode that has lasted more than a single hit. <laughs> um, Team Rocket said if I helped them, they'd let me study Pokemon in my heart's content. Aww. That's kind of... Whoop. Hello? If you get in our way, then you'll... Really be in our way. <laughs> oh my god, that's like my friend Edward's sense of humor. But this is meant to be a threat. Alright. Send out your haunter. I can use flying moves against haunter, right? Even though it's like a physical attack, I think this will work. I'm pretty sure it'll work. Yeah, look at it. Yeah! <laughs> Your evolved Pokemon is no match for my unevolved Pokemon. I give up. Yep. Well, now who's in your way? Nothing but yourself. I guess you earned a hint. You can open... Yes. Oh my god, that's not a hint. It's like... 
I found that out to my own self. Is there anything down here? Alright, let's see where this goes. Although I really should have tested the other teleporters since they were in a locked a room locked away. But I'll take free items. Alright. Five Pokeballs? Five Great Balls? Damn it, flat. What the hell is flat? <gasps> That's a steel type move. Is that I feel like it's a good move. Um Okay, I've been on this floor before, evidently, if I walked right past that rocket dude. What's this? Useless. Alright, let's let's just fight this dude. Study Pokeball technology on this floor. <gasps> Maybe this is where the Master Ball is. Come here, boy. Come here, scientist Bo. B Bo. Send out a muck. Um. Jeez, look at it. Really, kind of just looks like Muck's giving you the finger. Look at that. I mean, it's like there's no way to tell because of the way his hand looks. There's no way to. No Damn it! Damn it! Oh, this is gonna be. This is this is my arrogance. Oh my god! I should have just thunder. Please don't miss the thunderbolt. Oh, thank God. One hit, please. Oh. Oh God. How the hell does this dude know Ice Punch? You're a... How do you get frosty? You're just a big pile of sludge. Oh my god. Okay, he's dead. Alright, no worries. Alright, next time on the Halfcast, we're going to continue exploring and uh, destroying... Exploring and destroying Silphco. And all of their disgruntled employees. <laughs> oh, yes. I knew it. Last of all, I will find it. <laughs>